Hello and welcome. In this video, we will talk about roofs and how uh, to modify a supplement with points and uh, split lines. For example, in 3D here, you see uh, how the roof is uh, modeled. And right here in a section, this will make it clear how to um, how to how to make a roof uh, behave like that so with um, slope on it and of course i will um, show you how you can uh, fill this up uh, this material so yeah um, i'm gonna jump straight into it and uh, you can just follow along it's not that hard <laughs> let's go so as you see here i deleted the subgrades elements and uh, we're gonna begin from scratch how to model it so um, we go to uh, we will go to floor plan and I also will delete this for now all right and now I'm gonna model a uh, yeah a roof so I will search for it and it will be oh not this one I already made it this one so I made the uh, three materials so this material insulation and of course uh, the protecting uh, yeah for the roof so that's uh, my uh, uh, roof so let's apply okay and now I'm gonna just, just draw a rectangle from here to here make sure it's on the right level and I think is that one yes of course then it says five uh, floors overlap no problem then we go in section and right here you see it overlapping we're gonna see how thick it is so this is the thickness of the roof then we're gonna make it an offset from this and voila this is already a good beginning I will delete my arrows voila and of course um, I delete it because I will make one with you guys voila so that's already uh, nicely done to make it easier we're gonna make use of the view tabs right here we go to view and then uh, tile views so if we are modeling we can see properly what we are doing so we're gonna stretch that and hide it in a bit we can hide it like this or in visibility graphics but uh, i prefer it to do it this way so uh, what we are going to do uh, we're gonna make the rain uh, goes to goes to this side and to this side so we're gonna need to split this in two and of course um, we're gonna split it first so we're gonna select our roof voila and then right here you have modify supplements so we're gonna click on it and then you have your dots and one important thing that i want to give you uh, guys it's now 19 because it's on my current level so that means uh, that my current level is this one right here so it begins to count from uh, this level upwards so for example if I go to the section I think I haven't yes voila so they I will mm, hide them voila so they the roof begins to calculate so if I select this one it's 19 so it begins to calculate from this level it takes the level where it's uh, modeled on right here and that's uh, easier because um, standard it says project base point and you see how how it is it's quite annoying because uh, to calculate the heights it's better to uh, set it on current uh, level so you know how high you need to be uh, why do I say that well first of all we're gonna split it in half so we need to uh, see how far it is so half is right here is three meters 
and we need a uh, um, slope of two percent so that means uh, yeah two uh, two centimeters per meter so we have three meters so we need six to go six centimeters upwards so that means if this right here is uh, 19 we need to go up right here um, oh my bad yes we need to go up uh, uh, 25 all right so that's our level that we need to be to get a slope of two percent so we're going to do that we're going to select again go to roof voila select it and then again go to supplements and we won't add points but uh, we will directly do a split line so it will automatically see so that's the middle and it will snap to it right here voila and we don't do anything but you already see uh, the line right here in between it and what do we do to get the slope we go again go to sub modify elements and we can do this two ways we can do it by the dot and say it will be at uh, 25.08 oh the oh yeah delete dimensions okay no problem i have uh, i forgot to delete some dimensions i guess and we're gonna go by two dots um 25.08 voila and now we already have a slope so right here you see our slope i will go to annotate uh, oh, and slope and this is two percent see how nicely it's done uh two, oh, it's still in the white we're gonna use black and uh, see how nicely it's done it's two percent that's one way to do it we go to floor plan then we're gonna um, reset the shape again at the split line to here and to here so remember we've done it by the two dots but if you want to do it faster you can just select the line and then add here and go to 25.08 escape section and again we have our nice uh, slope of two percent so that's the second uh, way to do it so the next thing that we need to make sure of is that the water flows to this point right here and to this point right here now we uh, split it in two uh, areas so the, the water will only go to right here this side and to this side so i'm gonna uh, give you a little trick guys i will go to the l for uh, lines and then i will draw a rectangle to this right here because i want to flow what we will uh, i want to have to uh, oh my god blah, blah. i want the water to flow this side so i will make it uh, 25 and also 25. why i do that you will see that in a moment and that's a nice little trick to help you out and voila there we go so this is the first step that we want to do the second one is of course uh, modify supplements and why did I already draw it because you really you can't uh, like if you set the line right here voila you can't really move it by dimensions or anything so if you draw one it will be uh, there and I go delete the points now so why did I do that you already can see right here it snaps to the 2d lines that you draw so that's quite nice on it so i will draw it voila voila click escape i will move it to here so if there is a problem we still have the rectangle and now we see we have um our uh yeah uh, areas that we want the water flow into I will check with slope my slope is still two percent but only on this side so i will make sure go to modify elements this is 19.8 and this is 19 uh sorry 
this is 20 but we don't want that so we will copy that voila and we're gonna select with control key you can select multiple uh, points and then we're gonna just paste it to there oh, paste it there enter and voila already lines are appearing we're gonna do the same with this one so we're gonna uh, hold control key select the points paste it enter and voila click escape now we have this we're gonna still uh, see how the slope is you have here two percent okay this one is already good and now we have two percent but just still on that side you see the arrow and here this is a good slope and right here we have also the uh, right slope but this is not right uh, it needs to be to there so how do we uh, accomplish that very simple to get the water flow downwards from this side to this side this point needs to be higher and also this point needs to be higher so we're gonna again sub elements right here we're gonna select one hold the control key select the second one and then we're gonna do uh, 25.08 enter yeah i'm gonna delete as mentioned because they are inappropriate now same uh, same for this one just delete dimensions okay voila escape and now we're gonna check the slope again and boom you see that's what we uh, want of course so now we can start to annotate it more so for example if i go to modify and then i write here to line work and i will set this voila voila looks already uh better so you um yeah you change the lines uh so they know which one uh are and then for example i will go to my legend and department overview and right here i will copy that uh yes voila copy and then go to floor plan voila just paste it right here and from this too i will make a group add a roof all right voila now i gotta move it to where i want move it to here voila rotate it like this perfect then I'm gonna edit it and make this a little bit. This will do. Finish it and copy. Voila. To here. And then copy this one right here. And then I'm gonna rotate it from this side to this 180 degrees. Move it again. Voila. Then copy again. Zizo voila and it's already looking very nice in my opinion now we're gonna uh, some uh, elevation marks for the roof so they can uh, properly see the heights so annotate then spot elevation and purple all right this one i will not make a leader don't want that voila voila this right here voila and now we want this be clear that is the and then for the slope and right here still 75 voila then i will the dark ones to spot here 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 and here then of course some dimensions from this side oh use the tab key yes voila to this side voila very nice then from this to this up voila and of course we can go for the arrows and highlight this voila and very nicely and this one's oh, this one's i will move a little bit more up so the voila this a bit lower and voila look at that this is actually 
how we want of course we can add uh, dimensions for this side also voila Oops. and there we go also from this to this to this to this and i will change it in a moment uh, again 180 and this bit what voila and this is a nice modeled roof with water uh, going to the right sides and again we can do it the same in 3d voila there we go Oopsie. Oopsie. then annotate it of course this is the black one looking very very good again the purples we can't forget and voila this is voila and now we have this side here and here again voila well that's uh yeah looking uh, <laughs> very nice so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, see you in the next one bye bye